How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be doing another video on long-term water storage. Now I have done a video in the past on how to store your water long-term for emergencies, but today we're going to be talking specifically about how to store your water in 55 gallon barrels. Now if you want to check out the other video, I will put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. Now if you're going to store your water in a 55 gallon drum, there are some things to consider and some right and wrong ways to do that. And we're going to talk about that right now. But before we do, if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and please give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out. All right, guys, first things first. Now, why would you want to store your water in a huge drum like this? Well, there are a couple things to think about. So we all know that we need water to survive. And in emergencies, it can be hard to get water or your water could be contaminated. So it's important that you have some stored away for those types of emergencies. Now in my other video, I talked about uh, storing water bottles and storing in small portable containers, and you definitely should do that. But in an emergency, a good rule of thumb is to have one gallon of water per person per day. Now, if you live by yourself, it may be easy to store that much water. But if you have a family, so let's say you have four people in your family, you, your wife, and two children, you're gonna need a minimum of four gallons of water per day. So one of those small portable containers is gone after a day. But one way to store large amounts of water in a relatively small area is a 55 gallon drum. Now let's talk about the drum first. I know you can go on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and get used drums all day long. The problem with that is you need to know what was stored in that drum. A lot of times uh, those types of drums can be used to store chemicals or pickle juice or cleaning supplies or things like that. And it would be very difficult to clean all that out and make sure your water barrel is safe to store drinking water in. So definitely the best way to do it is to get a brand new 55 gallon drum. There are a lot of places online you can order those. You may have a store in your area that sells them. I will put a link in the description below to the barrel as well as all the other stuff we're gonna be talking about. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Most of the time they're gonna be somewhere between 50 and 100 bucks. And a lot of times you can have them shipped to a store so you could go pick them up and not have to pay shipping cost. So if you are gonna do this, I definitely recommend using a brand new barrel. And you also need to make sure that it's a food grade barrel. And that means that it is certified safe to store drinking water in, that's important. Now there's just a few things you're gonna need if you're gonna store water in a barrel like this. These barrels typically have two holes in the top and to open those, you are gonna need a bung wrench and I will link to that in the description below. And then those caps are just gonna come right off and those caps do have a rubber seal on the inside. In addition to your bung wrench, you're gonna need a drinking water safe hose now um, not all hoses are drinking water safe so but typically the ones made for rvs and stuff like that are you can find that at any home improvement store and i will link to one in the description below now a lot of people ask do you have to treat the water uh, and the answer to that is it depends um, a lot of times if you're on city water that water is already treated if you're on well water like i am either way it's a good idea to use some type of preservative or uh, water treatment in your barrel especially since you're going to be storing this for a long period of time it's just a good idea it's not going to hurt anything to go ahead and put some type of water treatment in the barrel there are a lot of products that are made for treating water you can also uh, use unscented bleach but uh, what i like to use is aquamira water treatment it comes in two separate bottles just like this and you're going to mix those two parts together to activate it and then pour it into your barrel and all that's going to do is help prevent uh, bacteria growth and things like that in your barrel now while we're thinking about that uh, there's a few other things to consider on how you're going to store your barrel you want to make sure you're using a blue barrel like this or a black barrel something that's going to block out any light um, white barrels just aren't good for water storage because they're letting light in and things like light and heat are going to create an environment where bacteria can grow inside the barrel and you definitely don't want that you're going to want to store it in a place that's relatively cool and dark 
somewhere like your garage is a great place to store it um, but something to consider is if you are going to be storing it on concrete it's a good idea to put it up on some two by fours or some type of wood uh, so that it's not sitting directly on the concrete uh, concrete changes temperature a lot it can also leach chemicals out of the concrete into the barrel and you definitely don't want that so uh, the best way to do that is just to prop your barrel up on two two by fours keep it up off the ground that's also going to allow air to circulate around it which is a good thing so that's just a good idea to do that all right now once you got your barrel and all your stuff set up first thing you need to do is clean your barrel out the way i like to do that is uh, you take those bung nuts off you put a few inches of water in the bottom and then just put a a couple drops of dishwashing soap in there and then close it back up then you can shake that barrel up roll it around make sure that uh, soapy water touches all the surfaces inside the barrel you just want to do that a couple times then dump that soapy water out and just repeat the process with clean water and keep pouring it out until your water comes out clean once you do that, you can uh, turn your barrel upside down, let it dry out if you want to, but then you are ready to store your water. Before you fill your barrel up, it's a good idea to have it in the place that you're gonna want to store it, because once you fill this bad boy up, it's gonna weigh about 400 pounds and it's gonna be very difficult to move. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the barrel up about halfway before I put my treatment in there, and then I'll fill it up the rest of the way. All right, once you get your barrel filled up about halfway, you're ready to go ahead and mix up your Aquamira. Now what they recommend that you do is you're gonna pre-mix it before you pour it into the barrel. Now a 55 gallon drum is gonna require four ounces, so that's the full contents of these two bottles. Now once you mix it together, stir it up a little bit and then just let it sit for a few minutes you will notice that it's going to start to get a little bit of a yellow color to it and that's just these two chemicals reacting to each other that's exactly what it's supposed to do it's not going to turn your water yellow so you don't have to worry about that and you may notice a little bit of a chlorine smell but that's not a problem uh, that will go away your water's not going to smell or taste like chlorine uh, once you mix it in there and once you've given that a second to uh, mix up good you can go ahead and pour it into your barrel Make sure you get it all in there, and then you're ready to fill your barrel up the rest of the way. Once you're done, you can go ahead and put your bung nuts back on. Make sure you don't cross thread it, and then you really wanna crank those bad boys down nice and tight to seal it up good. That water is preserved and treated and ready to store for long term. You can store this for years, you should be able to store this just fine for five to ten years without having to worry about any kind of contamination or anything like that. All right, guys, now that you have your barrel all filled up, you are ready to go. Uh, it is a good idea to label your barrel with the date that you stored it. Uh, Aquamira actually provides a little label that you can use or just use mask and tape or something like that. But it is a good idea to label that so you know what date you stored it on and you're ready to go. So when that emergency comes up and you can't get any clean water at your house, you can't find any water in the stores, you're prepared. I know what some of you guys are thinking. Once I get that big barrel filled up, how am I going to get the water out? Uh, the best way to do that is one of these drum siphon pumps. Um, the way that's going to work is you just take one of those uh, caps off and you're going to put this down in there and it's going to screw right into that same location on the barrel. And then it just has a hand pump. So you're going to hand pump it out and it's going to siphon that water out and you can siphon it right into any kind of smaller container or cup or bottle or whatever you want to put it in. All right, guys, now that's it for how to store your water in a 55 gallon drum. If you have any other questions or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. If you like these kind of videos, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Don't forget to use our links down below for the barrel and all the other stuff we talked about in the video. If you want to help support the channel so we can do more videos like this, you can join us on Patreon or visit pilotpatriotapparel.com for some patriotic and Second Amendment t-shirts. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay prepared.